Welcome back. In the previous video, we went through and we created a table. It was a song table for the example that we had. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to put data into that song table. Now, here's the cool thing. We have several different ways we could do this. The first way is with what's called an insert statement. The insert function allows us to put new things into something. Now, specifically, we're going to be inserting into, and then we just say the table name. So in our case, we're inserting into the song table. Now, here's what we can do. We have the primary key. One of the requirements of a primary key is that it's not null. And for something to not be null, it means we have to include it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and specify the variables that I'm going to be inserting. I have to insert song ID, but I can choose whether or not to insert other things. So I'll show an example of that a little bit later, but for now, let's just stick with putting in the order of the uh, rows that we're going to be inserting, okay? Because we're going to be inserting a row, but we got to tell it what columns this corresponds with. So we're going to say song ID, title, artist, album, release year, and genre. And if you're wondering where I got those from, I essentially got them from my create statement up here. Okay. So I'm telling it insert into song these columns. And once I've done that, what I can do is I can tell it what the actual row is going to be. I do that by telling it what the values are. Okay, so I can go ahead and say values. And then I open up a parenthesis. And for that, I can go ahead and feed it in a song title. Okay, but first I need to feed it in a song ID. So for this, uh, song ID, I can just say one. And you want to match the format. So you'll notice that these columns are comma separated. They're comma separated in your list of values. One of the great things about SQL is it makes sense. Okay, it's not supposed to be some really hard thing to work with. It's supposed to be easy to work with. So the first thing we insert into this row is the song ID. The second thing is going to be the title. You can pick any title that you want. But for any sort of var char or any other sort of text field, it's vital that you put it inside of quotes. Okay, you can use single or double, just be consistent. I'm gonna use single. And the song title that I'm gonna be inserting is Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, you may have heard that song before. I don't know uh, how cool you are, I guess. That's something uh, yet to be seen. Uh, now, of course, we know that once we put the title in, we're going to put the artist in. Artist of this is a, a band called Queen. Okay, not to be confused with the Queen of England or anything. It's a, a rock band. So then once we've done that, we're going to put the album in. So inside of quotes, I'm going to put a night at the opera. Because that's the album that the Bohemian Rhapsody song was in. Okay. Then we do use another comma and we specify the release year. Well, I know this song came out in 1975. So we just type in 1975 and that leaves us with the genre. So the genre of this is of course rock. Once I do that, I can choose to continue inserting more values. I could put a comma here and start another I'm not going to do that for now. I'm going to go ahead and end this with a semicolon. Now, once I've done that, I can go ahead and select this insert into statement. And I can go ahead and execute that part of the query. And you might be wondering, how do I know that that was successful? Well, first I can look down here. I have a green check. It tells me, hey, it was successful. But you can verify that a couple different ways. What I like to always do is use a select statement. We're going to cover select in the next video. But essentially, I'm going to say select 
asterisk or star or whatever you prefer to say and then from whichever table you want. So in this case, I'm using the from as the song table. I can go ahead and select this and I can execute that. And you'll see in the results down here that we did in fact insert the Bohemian Rhapsody into this song table. Now, that's one way of doing things. There's multiple ways. Go ahead and refresh your schemas and expand out your tables in whichever schema you're working in. Once you do that, simply mouse over the table that you're wanting to look at. In this case, it's a song table. And when you do that, you should have three little options. Click on that third option. Now what that third option does is it takes you to a results where you can go ahead and you can manually go to add new things in. So if you wanted to add a second song in this way, uh, you could certainly do that. You could type out all the information and then you'd hit apply down here. The third option is actually to import using this import option. Now we're not going to be covering that right this second, but essentially you can bring in existing CSVs and other file types as well. And that's a really useful thing to be able to do. So in the next video, we're going to cover some basic stuff with SQL queries. So I look forward to seeing you back and I hope you have a great rest of your day.